Hello students. Today we're going to learn how to draw free body diagrams in PowerPoint. So first, let's start with a diagram that we'd be given in a problem. So I'm going to go to the statics book and I'm going to pick uh, one of these diagrams. I'll pick this one and I'm going to open the snipping tool. It'll either be called snip and sketch or snipping tool. Either of those works. I'm going to use the new one, which is the Snip and Sketch, because it's nice. I'm going to click New, and I'm going to take a screenshot of the diagram that I'm given. Next, I am going to go to PowerPoint, and I'm going to paste that screenshot in to my PowerPoint. Now, this is where we want to draw our diagram. And to, to draw our diagrams, we are going to use the Insert shapes tool to trace over the structure of our truss and then to, to also draw arrows that indicate where our reactions would be. So let's start with just kind of tracing the shape. Let's change the weight of the outline so we can see it, give it a lot of weight. And then I'll, I'll copy paste another line so control C, control V, copy, paste, a third line. And now we've got the basic shape of our truss. Now I'm going to insert shape arrows, and I'm going to put an arrow that represents the known force P. I'm going to make that blue, and I'm going to give it a lot of weight so I can see it. And then I'm going to copy that arrow that I made, and I'm going to replace the supports that we have with reactions. And I'm going to assume those reactions are positive. So a positive BX and BY. And a positive uh, AY. Right? And now the last things we want to do is we just want to make sure we label everything. This is P. This here is a y, and for that y, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a subscript. So I'm gonna click the little font corner arrow there, and then click subscript, and then I'm going to copy paste that and make a a b x here, b x. And I'm going to make a BY. This is a BY here. And then one last thing I'm going to do to jazz it up is my unknowns, which are these reactions. I'm going to make those reactions, I'm going to color those red. So now we have a beautiful free body diagram. Now, if this diagram that we had here had dimensions on it, we'd also want to put the dimensions and the angles that are the, on the inside of this triangle, if that was uh, some, some information we're given. Um, and, and we can uh, very simply uh, just put another text box that describes whatever the dimensions are. So let's say this was X meters long. Uh, we're not given what it is, but you know, say this is X meters, that's, that's say that's Y meters long. And, um, and say this is uh, Z meters long. So you can see that it's, it's pretty straightforward to create a free body diagram. Once we've created it, let's select everything we've created. Let's right click and go and create a group. And now we have this nice little image that we can use. And we can then, we can click on that image, right click and save it as a picture. All right, so we can save this as a picture. We'll call this the free body diagram picture. We'll save it. And then we can upload that free body diagram, uh, whether we would need to draw it for an exam or whether we needed to make a, a diagram for a project that we have in an engineering class. So that's it. Hopefully it was uh, nice and easy. And uh, if you do have any questions or I went too fast, leave those comments and I'll reply.